let's do some examples of percentage again so here the question is 30 percent of a is 12 so you want to find what is a okay so how can we do this so i would like to do most of the questions without the calculator so when you say 30 percent of a is 12 so in other words we what is given is 30 percent is of something is given to be 12 the question is you want to find 100 percent that's the question okay so if you understand the question you can move forward so 30 percent is 12 so how can we think okay so 30 percent can i write this as 10 percent plus 10 percent plus 10 percent you can think in different ways i want to make the understanding of percent very simple so can i write this as something plus something plus something so what so i wanted to think what i want to write like this so all the numbers should be the same so can you think of three numbers which adds up which are the same numbers which adds up to give you uh let me change color so well four times three is 12 so i can say it is four plus four plus four so can you compare the left hand side with this right hand side so you can say well then 10 percent has to be four 10 percent is four so 10 percent is four you want to think 100 percent is how much so you think like this 10 goes in 100 or there are how many lots of uh, 10 in a hundred so well 10 times 10 is 100 so there are 10 lots of 10 in 100 so 10 times 10 is 100 percent so you do the same thing for this uh, number so 4 times 10 is 40 so your a is 40 so what is the question so let's understand the question understanding the question is equally important so the statement says that 30 percent of a your a is now 40 so 30 percent of 40 is 12. does it make sense yes because 10 percent of 40 10 percent of 40 is 4. so uh, say 20 percent of 40 is equal to 8 so we are just checking our answer so that means 30 percent of 40 is equal to 12 and that's what was given so that's fine let us look at the next question 50, 55 percent of b is 13.2 you want to find b so again here the question is you want to find 55 percent of something which is 100 percent is given to be 13.2 so your question is you want to find what is 100 percent what is 100 percent is your question so let us think so this is 55 percent 55 percent is 13.2 so which is a neat percent so uh if you want to find 5%, okay, so from 55%, if you want to find 5%, 55, you have to divide by something. So 55 divided by, divided by what gives you 5? So, well, 55 to divide by 11. 55 divided by 11. So let me write the division sign here. So 55 divided by 55 divided by 11 gives you 5. So you do the same thing for to this this number. So 13.2 divided by 11 should give you this number. So I don't know off my head. So I'll go 13.2 divided by 11. Okay. So what strategy do you have? Okay. Let me turn this up. So I know 11 divided by 11 is 1. Now what I'm doing is it 13 I can write as 11 plus what is 13.2 11 
plus 2.2 gives me 13.2. So first I divided 11 by 11, which gives you 1. So now you've got 2.2 divided by 11. 2.2 divided by 11. Okay, so how, you, how will we do this? So this is nothing but uh, 2.2 divided by 11. So yeah, if you want to divide by 11, so this is 0 0.2. Okay, now how can you check this? Because 11 times 0 0.2, if you multiply this two, you should get this. I hope you know 11 times 0 0.2 is 2.2. We'll confirm this on the calculator just to be on the safe side. So this is how you can check. Uh, 2.2 divided by 11. Uh, you can also do in a different way. Let me do this here. This is same as I'm going to make this 10 times bigger. So this is 22 divided by 110. Okay. So yeah, this is nothing but uh, this will become a bit more complicated. So 22 divided by 11 times one tenth okay i hope you understand because this is 11 times 10 is uh, 110 and this is 22 times 2 22 times 1 is 22 so 11 times 2 is let me bit so 11 divided by 2 so 22 divided by 11 is 2 times one tenth is 0 0.1 okay this is a different way of explaining so yeah the answer should be, so therefore I can say, therefore, 13.2 divided by 11 gives me 1 plus, so this is 1.2, 1.2, so this is, uh, oh, so this is 1.2, we are still at 5%, so this is 1.2, so let me erase this, I think. I've used so much of space here. So now I want to reach to 100%. So from, <coughs> excuse me, so this is 1.2. So this is, I hope you see, this is 1 plus 0.2 is 1.2. So from 5%, can I find 110%? Well, if 5% is 1.2, 10% is double of that, which is 2.4. And from 10%, I can find 100%. So this is double. So I'm times this by 2. So you do the same thing by this by 2. And this is 100% is times it by 10. So you do the same thing here times this by 10. So this is 24 uh, is the answer. So your B is 24. Okay. So 55% of 24 is 13.2. Just to show how to, if you want to do this on a calculator, 55% of 24 is 13.2. And 24. If you want to do this on a calculator, this is 55% is 55 out of 100, which is 0 0.55 times 24. So let me get my calculator. So you can use a simple calculator. So this is menu run 0 0.55 times 24. Should give you 